you may need some soup and maybe some Tums today. After a nearly 500 point swing yesterday and volatility seemingly here to stay, should we start bargain hunting in our markets? Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swoosh, is here. Uh, good morning, Melissa. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good, good. You know, I'm glad that we're talking about bargain hunting because most retail investors have not been really sweating the volatility and the swings in the market. They've been looking for deals. How about you? Well, personally, I don't think it's necessarily a great idea to look for deals when you're looking at stocks, because if you're buying a strong stock that has a high percentage chance that it's going to rally, and they may be expensive. However, if you buy strong stocks, you're going to make money versus buying weak stocks. And in other words, yesterday, you were talking about the swings. One of the things that I think is very interesting is Amazon made brand new all-time highs yesterday. This is before the market fell off, before the Fed minutes, mm -hmm. and Netflix almost did too. So. I really don't believe this market is going to collapse again because you can't have really, really strong market leaders like that making new highs and then the market collapsing because the market is made up of these stocks. Right. And yeah, I'm glad you brought up Amazon because if you look at the S&P 500's uh, call back, claw back, excuse me, at least through Tuesday night, I'll go back a little bit, 27% of that gain was Amazon only. So I like your point about strong stocks. Also, if you look at a company like Amazon, you know, some people say, oh, it's overvalued, it's too expensive, they're expanding too much. And you say that we should be looking at the fundamentals of Amazon, for instance. Well, I, I look at the technicals, but even the fundamentals look good because, again, tax reform just passed. A company like Amazon, they're going to take advantage of that. Who knows what they're going to do in 2018? The sky's the limit for Amazon. And when you see a stock like that hitting new highs right before the market has these Fed minutes, that's a good sign for the stock and the company itself. They had good earnings reports. Google had earnings last quarter. They didn't report that much, but even Google rallied yesterday. Apple is making a turnaround. Microsoft is near the highs again. Right. You, you, all of these companies look great fundamentally and technically to me that are strong, strong, strong. And that's well, all the ones that I just named. And well, there's one more you didn't mention. That is Netflix. Look at what Netflix has done over the last year. I mean, I remember when, when that stock was $4 a share. Reed Hastings was the CEO. Look at it now. Netflix is another company that 281 and change. Wow, Netflix should have would have cut on this one, huh? Yeah. That is one of my favorite long watches, bullish watches right now. And the reason is when the market sold off that week of the 5th, Netflix had earnings right before, gapped up big, held, Netflix held more bullish than any stock in the market the week that market fell. That was a huge sign that that stock is going to just take off like a rocket when the market makes new highs again. And really quickly, I want to tell viewers this too. If you're watching the market, because we are down a little bit in the pre-market this morning, I don't think it's a crazy panicky gap down in the market this morning. Mm -hmm. I know it fell yesterday into the close, but you want to look for the market, whether it's the Dow, whether it's the QQ, Cues, whether it's the S&P, you want to see where all of these indices are going to go over to the, the high from that sell-off day on 2-5. Once week, we hit over the high, we're higher. Melissa, we're, we got to run, but last week, the best week in five years for stocks. I mean, you, it's it's not a day-by-day -day thing at this point. It's it's really like, you know, you have to look at it like what the long-term story. And I love that you're bringing that up this morning as we got futures down. Melissa, thank you very <laughs> much. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And, and actually, I stand corrected. We have, the S&P is edging up a little bit. We have 13 minutes left to the show. We could have a higher Dow. You don't come know. 6 a.m. All right. Coming up.